All right, so today I'm going to be making a fly that is very great for the peacock breeding season. And the last video that I made, I actually used this fly. It's the woolly bugger. We're just going to be adding a little bit of flash to it. And the color combination is going to be chartreuse for the marabou, and it's going to be red for the hackle that's going to go on to the front of the fly. So the reason why I like this color combination is because it closely resembles other peacock. And when you're observing peacock during breeding season, they're kind of just chasing away other peacock that are getting very close to their nest. And they'll kind of be all along the banks protecting their nest and typically pairs of two, a male and a female. So that being said, the idea is you're going to work the fly close to the nest and you want to bring it down a little bit low. So you got to be conscious of the waters that you're going to be fishing. Is if you need a little bit more weight, you can also add a bead to the front of this jig. I don't for where I need, so I'm just going to go ahead and make it how I need it. And, uh, and hopefully you guys will witness the same success. And the way to work this fly is you want to work it close to the nest. So a little bit lower to the ground and you're going to really work each nest because the peacocks really sometimes they'll they won't be very aggressive so they're not going to go ahead and attack the fly right off of the bat but you'll see you do a couple casts and they'll get pissed off enough and they're going to go out right after this fly all right so my material is going to be marabou and it's uh like i said earlier it's chartreuse a red feather i'm going to go ahead and use it's like it looks like a chartreuse um thread for my fly, chartreuse chenille, and some fly head cement. And that's about all you need. And also the most important part of the fly is going to be the hook. Today we're going to be using a one eye. Step one is going to be to set up the base of the fly. So let's go ahead and right, Step two, we're going to take the marabou so make sure you pick out any fluff, a little bit of fluff from it, just from the bottom here, so it's a little bit easier to time. So I'm gonna just take these out real quick. So go ahead. I'm gonna do two wraps, pull down. So as I'm wrapping, it doesn't start to twist. So now I can go ahead and tie normally. Right, the next thing is we're gonna go ahead and take our chenille. Let's go ahead and wrap this up here. Just from there, we're gonna go ahead and do the same idea, we're going to go ahead and wrap twice loosely and pull straight down. We're going to take our feather and we're going to pull all this fluff out. I don't want none of that fluff. Go ahead and pinch that down here real quick. Just, we're only going to pinch it. Now we're going to Take the top of the feather, we're gonna spread out all this hackle. We're gonna put it down, evened up with the chenille. We're gonna go ahead and make a loop with our line, right about there. And now we can just go ahead and start twisting the three together. You wanna be separating the hairs, you don't want them to get stuck within the chenille. Now we're going to go ahead and start tying it. As you're tying it, you're going to want to kind of pull the hairs back a little bit. Kind of pull everything out make sure nothing really gets stuck like that over there. As best you can, you will lose some. It's ine inevitable. And it should look crazy and messy. Alright, just like that. That's beautiful. Pull these back. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do a whip finish. All 
our dry head cement. Alrighty guys, so on the last part of the video, I did not add, you're gonna see the rest of the fight tied without the flash. I did not tie the flash, um, I forgot. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and tie it here for you guys. Um, so you guys can see more or less kind of the closer to the actual setup of what I use when I'm out there. So let me go ahead and just get this tied. The flash that I'm using is a copper flash. And I really love this setup. I think this setup works great for a lot of fish, um, a lot of applications too, salt water and fresh water. It's a very good color choice for flash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and Now we have our woolly booger for peacock and this thing is basically, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's indestructible, but man, I've used one of these flies for months and countless fish and this thing has just not fallen apart. Typically when I lose them, just getting them snagged is somewhere unreachable. So that's why these things last me forever. I haven't felt the necessity to build any more than I uh, in the last few months. So I thought I'd take this opportunity, especially now it being peacock bass season and I had a, just a few smaller woolly boogers left. I really wanted to make one that looks like it has a lot of groceries um, to really grab those bigger fish. And they, they were looking kind of thin, so I was, you know, I was, I was struggling trying to grab those um, peacocks that were in those bigger nests in the last video. So what I had done was after the camera started rolling, I had switched to a seducer, which hopefully I'll show you guys in another video, which basically has a white body with feathers and then has basically a similar concept with the wrapped around uh, tackle. 